Bar fam, today's video, we got some new stuff for Frostbite. We finally got some suspension parts in, and these are the brand new Core 4x4 aluminum double adjustable bars. These have Johnny joints on both ends of the bars, and they are actually made out of aluminum instead of the steel version. So these are the racing edition lightweight version, and we have them for Frostbite. I haven't even got them out of the box yet, and also we had them powder coated white so they will match the truck, so they should look pretty badass. So I'm going to start pulling these things out. I, we did order all four bars for the rear end. We got the uppers, the lowers, and I did order the pan hard bar as well. Um, I wanted to go ahead and upgrade that while we were doing everything, so we should have five bars in this box. Let's get them out, check them out, see what they look like. Staple. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to unbox this on the video. Trying to get them out of the box here, guys. You gotta watch out for the staples. These staples will get you. We got some bolts and stuff, hardware down here. There we go. Everything was inside this core 4x4 box. Packed up very good. And looks like this is all the hardware and the bolts and nuts to mount the new bars on. I have no idea what this is. Looks like stickers. We got... Oh shit, man, he sent me a hat. Oh yeah. So we got a bunch of core 4x4 stickers that we can put on the bars. Got some larger ones. That's dope. Heck yeah, dude. Sent me a fitted hat. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Core 4x4 fitted hat. That's what I'm talking about. We about to run that joker right now. Core 4x4 hat, and we have a shirt. That's badass. Core 4x4 shirt. Made in America. Hot damn hell yeah. Also, guys, while we're saying hot damn hell yeah, I ordered these, bo uh, I ordered these bars off of the Core 4x4 site, directly from Core 4x4, and I used promo code hot damn which is Joey Bellagio's code uh, promo code from his YouTube channel as he runs a lot of these bars from core 4x4 um, so promo code hot damn will get you 5% off at core 4x4 and also if you're not familiar with his channel he's got a couple channels he's got hot damn racing team his other channel is custom black motorsports so again 5% off promo code hot damn thank you joey you're the man so here we go we're going to take off this top layer of styrofoam and those look absolutely insanely badass so there's one bar right here pretty light again the actual tube the metal is aluminum and we have adjustable Johnny joints that are greasable on both ends of the bar. So these bars adjust on both ends. And again, these are the aluminum racing version. So that's one bar. And then we have the two, I believe these are going to be the two upper bars. These are the shorter ones. They're wrapped up pretty good, so I'm not going to take them out right now. 
And then these should be the two lower barbs. They're also wrapped up. So this guy right here should be my pan hard bar. So I'm gonna bring this to the camera so you guys can see it a little better. All right, so there you go. These are powder coated white. These are gonna match frostbite to the T. These are gonna look badass underneath the truck. These are the Johnny joints on both ends, greasable right here. And I like these ends because as you see, these things are sealed up really good. They got snap rings in here. And uh, this is gonna provide a very, very tight fit with very, very little movement. So we should be able to hit the track pretty hard with these things. Obviously, this, these things will usually eliminate wheel hop. Um, granted, I haven't had an issue with wheel hop. A lot of the Ram guys out there seem to get a lot of wheel hop. I have not experienced that with Frostbite. That hasn't been a problem for me. Now, I have had lots of traction issues sometimes, but wheel hop was never one of them. I've never had wheel hop. But these will eliminate the wheel hop if you have wheel hop. So again, real quick, got hardware for them. And then they obviously, he, they send you the stickers to put on your bars. That way you can put the bars on. And then if you choose to run the stickers, you can put the stickers on where you can actually see them. So that's pretty cool that they're not already on the bars. And that way when you mount up the bars, you can actually put a sticker wherever you want and it will be visible. Um, the other thing I noticed right here, it says actually race, core four by four race. So that's pretty cool. And again, here's the other two bars that's wrapped up. Same thing, Johnny joints on both ends, fully adjustable, aluminum, racing version. These are badass. All right guys, so there you go. That is the new Core 4x4 aluminum racing version of the new adjustable bars. So that's what we got for the back of Frostbite to upgrade the suspension. Um, as you guys know, we are running the stock suspension in the back. We basically have factory shocks and we have factory uh, bars in the back we have factory arms in the back for the rear end so this is going to be a huge upgrade not to mention when we start adding on the other stuff we have uh, double adjustable shocks coming uh, to put on the rear end as well to go with this so that way we can really fully adjust the rear end of uh, frostbite and get it right now i'm going to give you a quick rundown real quick of what these bars do for you and why you need them Okay, so one, if you have a lowered truck like I do, Frostbite's lowered, we have a 2-4 lowering kit from Belltech, and I've cut two coils off the back springs, which gives me about a 2-5 drop. Now, when you lower these trucks, what happens is, one, the axle will move forward in the fender well, so if this is your tires, the tires are going to kind of move forward, so you get basically an offset effect in your fenders. Frostbite does have that, if you've noticed it. It's not a lot, but you can notice it. Um, I definitely notice it. And granted, we haven't had any issues with it like that, but that is one visual downside to lowering these trucks when you start getting to about the four inch or lower mark. It, you'll start shifting the tires forward. Um, the other thing is your pinion angle usually goes out the window as well. So with having double adjustable bars, what that's gonna allow us to do is one, it's gonna let us adjust those bars so we'll be able to lengthen them or shorten them if we need to, but we'll be able to push the rear end back even and center up the axle so we're center in the fender wells and we get our appearance right and our suspension set up right. So basically we can set our rear end back where it needs to be not only that, we can adjust pinion angle. Usually your upper bars will set your pinion angle and those bars will obviously let the rear end adjust so we can raise up or lower down the pinion angle as necessary. 
So the same thing happens when you have, say, a lifted truck. You know, everything's going to move, but if you're lowered, it's going to go one way. Obviously, if it's lifted, it's going to go the other way. And these bars let you correct all of that. It'll let you center up the axle, and it'll let you get the pinion angle where you need it because you'll now be able to actually adjust your rear end for your application. Again, it varies on, you know, what drop, lowering kit, you know, is how much it's lowered, or if your truck's lifted, how much lift you have on the vehicle and all of that. So again, short, short, just a short takeover. Basically these bars will let you fix that and correct all that mess and get the truck running and driving and the suspension working the right way. So that is why these bars are pretty much a must have if you do any of that to your vehicle as far as lifting or lowering it. So that is pretty much it guys for the unboxing. There will be a part two to this and part two is gonna be the other thing I plan on doing with these bars. Um, you know, not only are we gonna install these bars obviously, but I have something else planned as well. Um, I have somebody working on some brackets for me for the rear end so that we can actually move these bars, the, move the bars mounting locations up or down. I want to be able to adjust my rear end, rear end a lot more for traction purposes and a whole lot more. So stay tuned to part two and that will be going on here very shortly and I'm going to try to explain to you why I want to do this, why I really needed these bars as well. And uh, hell yeah, again, Core 4x4, these are the racing aluminum bars. They're badass. They're definitely lightweight. And when we get my factory bars off, we will weigh the factory bars. I'll weigh all five bars on the factory version bars, and it will weigh all five of these Core 4x4 aluminum bars and see what the weight difference is. But I guarantee you there's probably a big difference um, there's a lot of people that already have core 4x4 bars um, most of them have the metal version which is pretty heavy um, at least that's what I'm told they're very very heavy they're solid and they're definitely never gonna break um, but they're pretty heavy and that's why for the racing guys that's not actually going four-wheeling or off-roading you know these aluminum bars are geared towards the people that's actually racing their truck on a track like drag racing or whatever so that is why we got aluminum bars now and that is badass that they went out of their way and they made another version of these bars for the drag racer so again thank you core 4x4 and as always guys stay safe out there don't forget hit that subscribe button we'll see you on the next one